Jesus. Jesus came and died yes, for us Lord. all to be set free. Yes. Hallelujah. But as the word says, some of us don't like freedom. No. Some of us rather be bound. Some of us rather be bound and stay in bondage because it feels good. It feels good to be in that cycle. It feels good to be in that loop. Like in Genesis, how God freed them and then the enemy would make onions look good. I should go back to Pharaoh. He had onions. Yes. What voice could make that sound again? Oh. Onions? You mean I should go back to bondage? This man was, was beating us, whipping us to build statues with spit and water and all this stuff. Man, we suffered for years. And you telling me now that I'm free, a voice can come and whisper? Hey, go back to Pharaoh. He had onions. Oh, Jesus. How does that make a sound? But it shows that when we're fleshly, yes. anything of the flesh will sound good, even if it's not good. Yes. When we got a fleshly mindset, yes. when our mindset is made up of fleshly ideas, yes. all we think it is negative, all we want to do is negative, all we want to do is yes. just negative. Yes. Our actions will become that very poison. Feed it. Yeah. We can either feed jealousy or we can either feed it. 
his Holy Spirit. Amen. And he searched the heart and then he recognized that, okay, yes, yeah, you've been feeding my spirit, so I'm going to definitely do what is right. Amen. He's a promise keeper. He want to keep every promise to us. It's just, it's just me, my heart. That's right. We sing love. Yes. We talk love. Amen. We think love. Amen. Amen. Not until we come into Christ and know what true love is, Amen. we still be performing in lust. Amen. Not until we come into the, the, the true identity and see, man, God sent his only son to yes. die for me. Yes. What king is going to leave his throne to come down and die for peasants? say, you know what? I'm going to do this for them. I'll be the sacrifice. And not on top of that, to add to it, he, created, he was there from creation. When God said, let us create man. He was there. So he knew that we're just on our time. We're on his time. So he knew he could just start over. He didn't need to put up with us. This is what I'm getting to. He didn't have to put up with my mess. Yeah. 
don't see color, he don't see clean, he don't see gender, he just see love. My sons love. You see, there's faith, hope, and love. These three, and I shared this many a times. There's these three in 1 Corinthians 13 when it talks about love. Faith, hope, and love. There's different hope for different things, faith in different things. The only thing that should be consistent is love. Love is Jesus. Love is Jesus. Who is he that condemned? It is Christ that died. Ye rather that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of God? Who also make it intercession for us? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation. Hold on. Hold on. Who, Who? shall separate us from the love of Christ? Yes. So now I am addressing this thing. Yes. If this thing had me separated from Christ, from his love, then I need to address this thing. Amen. Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Amen. So right here, it shows me that nothing can keep me from God but me. Nothing can keep me from coming to God but me. And you 
know, the father is the only one who could switch. Because yes, the firstborn is supposed to get the, the inheritance, right? But only the father could switch and say, you know what? I'm going to give the inheritance to him. Prime example, Abraham. The firstborn, he gave him gifts and sent him along. Look, you, you go over there and you'll be okay. You'll be great. Because he was supposed to get it, the inheritance. Only the father have the authority to say, okay, I'm going to transfer the wealth over here. So if we belong to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, and he loved every single one of us the same, you don't think the inheritance that we have in heaven is equal? You see, the disciples were worried about who's going to be next to you, Jesus. He said, come on, why are you worrying about who's going to be next to you? I don't even know that. I don't even know that. That shouldn't even be on your mind. Yes. But can we just try to make it in? Yeah. We'll try to live down here. God, oh, has God intended for us to live? Yes. Can we be the right examples, the good examples, the good fruit? Let's not be rotten fruit. I'm tired of us as believers being rotten fruit. I'm going to be a believer and I'm out there jealous of my brother. I'm going to be a believer in the same team. That's like what God each other, then the game, they can't perform. Yes. Right, football star? Right? If you guys were jealous of each other, would you guys be able to perform? No. It gotta work. It gotta be unity. Yes. We gotta work together. We, you the head, you might be the head, you might be the leg, but we all one body. Let's work together. If you hurt, I must hurt. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Galatians 4 7. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Yes. Mm hmm. Yes, Lord. Wherefore thou art no more a servant, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ Jesus. How be then, when ye know not God, ye did service unto them which by nature are no gods. But now, after that ye have known God, or rather are known of God, how turn ye again to the weak and beggarly elements, whereunto ye desire again to be in bondage? Amen. We set free. Let's walk enjoying the freedom. Yes. Enjoying the freedom to not be. I'm not. I'm not drawn to to love weed again. I'm not drawn to love going to the, to the clubs again. I'm, I'm now because I'm I'm walking. I'm feeding my spirit. I'm now. I'm now drawn to. Let me let me go to a, a, a men's conference. Let me go to. Let me pull the community together and see who. I can help. Let's go out and reach the neighborhood and, and go out to the schools and go out to, let's go out and, and, and be first responders and stop thinking that they're okay. Oh, yes. Maybe God put them on your mind and your heart for you to go out there and reach them. Amen. Yes. Amen. You know, men, I want to, in Matthew chapter 5, right, 27, it says, he have heard that it was said by them of all time, Thou shalt not commit adultery with I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her has committed adultery yeah. with her already in his heart. And if thy right eye offended thee, it goes on to say, you know, instructions. But as men, I want us to recognize how important our birthright is. Our birthright, when we say yes to God, we are not heirs. His kingdom. Hallelujah. Heaven, Thank you, Jesus. Right? Now, it just said if I was to look at a woman and lust in my heart, now I've become tainted. Now I've just given my birthright for a look. Now I've just given my birthright because of what just transpired off of a look. I look at this woman and just started to lust. Right there, I've 
choose to give up our birthright. You see, it's a choice. You have the choice. Nobody else, they can force you. Hey, get this lust in you. You lust right now. No. You choose. You look at that woman. If you lust in your heart, boom. You've just given up your birthright. Just like Esau. So don't think Esau is stupid for giving up for his food. That's probably just his struggle. Soup. But what is your struggle, man? Come on. What is you, what are you giving up your birthright so easily for? Come on. What is it? What is it that you just you just quit to say, you know what? I'm gonna go cut a piece now because I, I I know somebody who said, you know what? I'm gonna put my Jesus down right here. I'm gonna put Jesus, I'm gonna leave you right here because I know what I'm about to go do. I'm gonna come back and pick you up. But what if on your way back, right before you even pick him up, you don't even get the opportunity to touch him? You see, our flesh tells us that it's difficult. But I believe practice makes perfect. Amen. If we Amen. practice and we believe and we just keep doing it. Look, I didn't put sickness just like this. It was a process. But I kept bringing it to God. I said, God, look, I'm struggling, God. Look, God, I just did this, God. God, forgive me, Lord. Look, I kept bringing it to God. I didn't wait. Because the more you wait, the more you feed that yes. spirit. Yes. And that spirit will become stronger. Yes. When, they clean, when you clean up house, that spirit will leave and come back with seven more stronger. Yes. So I have no time to wait. I don't have time to wait and let him go gather up his team. No. Fill up with the things of the Lord. Got to fix it God. now. Let me get right now. Let me fill up with the word. Let me feed my spirit, man. Come on, now. Yes. See, the enemy not playing with us. The enemy's not playing with us. And I just want to let you know that you need to stop playing with you. Yeah. Can't blame nobody for the state that you're in. It's you. It's not God. It's you. It's not your brother. It's you. They said Esau hated his birthright. He despised it. He despised it. So it's you. Do you love your birthright? Do you embrace your birthright? Do you say, yes, God, I'm going to be the example. Yes, yes God, I'm willing, to, I'm willing to destroy this spirit. I'm willing to expose this spirit. Yes. Because yes. these spirits, we can't destroy them. We can only buy them, send them back where they came from. But we got to first expose it. We got to first confess it. God, this is what I'm struggling with. I'm jealous of my sister and I don't know why.
Yes, Lord. We decide we want. Yes, God. We fight the good fight of faith. Amen. Amen. We don't give up our birthright so easily. We hold our birthright valuable. We value it just like how God values us enough to send His only Son. We value it as much as Jesus hung on that cross, knowing that He could have called 10,000 angels to just destroy us. He didn't even need the whole army of heaven, only 10,000. I was 